In the earlier lectures, we have discussed about a brief introduction and the electric vehicle types. Uh, also, we have discussed about electric vehicle, hybrid electric vehicle, pure electric vehicle. So here is again a re review of it. You see the classification. The Pure electrical vehicle is fed from electricity and propulsion is solely by electric motor as shown in this diagram. If you see, this is the battery, this is the motor or generator. So whenever we are getting the regenerative braking, at that time we can generate the electricity during the regeneration. While we are applying the brakes, it is a regenerative braking. It is electrical braking basically. So that will be fed supply back to the battery. So this is a pure electrical vehicle. Another configuration is a hybrid electric vehicle. In this, we can see there are two systems. One is the IC engine, and another is the battery. That is, a motor will be there. So both the system will support the drive train. Now how it is connected, either it is connected, these two systems are connected in series, they are connected in parallel. So that will be a different types. So types of hybrid electrical vehicle. Now here, this is a brief introduction about hybrid electrical vehicle configuration. So, uh, third one is fuel cell electrical vehicle, which is directly or indirectly sourced from the hydrogen, and propulsion is solely electric motor. So in fuel cell, the fuel cell will convert the electricity using the hydrogen and oxygen, and that electricity produced by the fuel cell will be given to the battery and then to the electric motor. So again, the propulsion is of electric based propulsion. So these are the important types for electrical vehicles as discussed earlier also. If you see energy efficiency of electrical vehicles, so they are more efficient than IC engine vehicles. The efficiency of IC engine vehicle is in the range of 60 to 70 percent. So here the efficiency is much more higher. It may reach up to uh, 90%. Electric vehicles can recover the kinetic energy during braking and utilize it for battery recharging. So whenever we apply the mechanical brake, the vehicle will stop. Now the same thing can be done by applying electrical braking. So it is called as a regenerative braking, a kind of braking where the vehicle speed will be utilized to rotate the generator and the generator will produce the electricity that will be given to the battery to charge it. So whenever we are applying brakes at the time, electricity will be generated. So range of the electrical vehicle will increase. And that is also supporting to increase the efficiency, overall efficiency of the system. With regenerative braking technology, the energy efficiency of electrical vehicle can be boosted by up to 10%. So this is one of the major advantage of electrical vehicles. If you compare the conventional vehicle and hybrid electrical vehicle, this is a simple comparison. So in the conventional vehicle only, the IC engine is the main system, that is the propulsion system. Now, if we go for the hybrid electric vehicle, it will have IC engine, no doubt, because it's a hybrid. So in addition to the IC engine, it will have electric propulsion. Now, so because of this electric propulsion system, it requires power tonic converters to get the suitable supply from the battery, converted from the battery. Also, we can have some additional 
resources, energy sources such as battery, onboard battery and ultra capacitor also. So again, that is the kind of electrical supply. So this is a simple overview, a simple comparison of IC engine and hybrid electric vehicle. That is conventional vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle. If you see in more detail, the hybrid electric vehicle, the propulsion is available from two or more types of energy sources. And at least one of them obviously will deliver the electrical energy. And there will be IC engine and electrical source also. If you see the combinations, the types of hybrid electric vehicles based on the sources, it will be uh, in this way, either petrol, IC engine and battery, this, that will be one combination. Then diesel, IC engine and battery, that is another combination. It can have IC engine, battery and fuel cell. So here, these two sources will support for the electric propulsion. Then next is the IC engine and battery and capacitor. The next configuration will be IC engine, battery and flywheel. There may be also IC engine, battery, and another battery that is hybrid combination of two batteries. So if we see for hybrid electric vehicle, there are many more options to connect the sources. So IC engine and battery will work together. So here based on the petrol or diesel, the IC engine type will vary, but battery can be the same. Now battery and fuel cell, they will support each other. So it is uh, another addition. Now one more configuration, supercapacitor can have the electrical supply. It can give, it will support in combination with the battery. Uh, it can have a large power density but it cannot supply for a longer time. So it has a lesser energy density. So battery can be used here to supply the energy requirement and capacitor will use to fulfill the power requirement. Now the power requirement is to give the desired torque for the electric vehicle and here battery will provide the range. That is it will travel for a long distance. The range will be increased. Similarly, flywheel can be also used for a short duration to supply the power requirement. Similarly, here one battery can take care of the energy requirement and another battery will take care of the power requirement of the electrical vehicle. Now, obviously, IC engine is there for the support. Here is a general nature and required engineering fields by hybrid electric vehicles. So most of the electric vehicle technology, they require multiple skills and it is a multidisciplinary area. If you see these different areas or fields where electric and hybrid electric vehicle require, if you start from this energy storage systems, Then third one is the vehicle modeling and simulation field. Next is the vehicle design and optimization. Next is vehicle dynamics, thermal management and control, vehicle control and power management, power electronics and electric machines. So these are the areas which are required skilled engineers and multidisciplinary input. So energy sources, especially we can have, have battery energy storage, we can have supercapacitor, we can have flywheels. So based on these sources, how best possible, how optimum these sources are used is the requirement. So here it requires the electrical engineering, especially 
and for battery it may be the combination electrical and chemical engineering so another is the regenerative braking how efficient regeneration can be obtained from the vehicle obtained from the regenerative braking circuit regenerative braking system so here again the design skills are required and improved efficiency is required another is the modeling and simulation now here we we require the vehicle modeling so you have to use the softwares and you can simulate the complete vehicle and you can see the results before designing the actual vehicle its performance can be viewed through the software by modeling and simulation its performance can be checked before the actual design now once it is simulated we can go for the actual vehicle design and also the optimization so here again the best vehicle design and optimization is required for the electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle obviously another is the vehicle dynamics we have to check the vehicle dynamics various forces are acting on it its performance its output so vehicle dynamics is also one of the important fields in hybrid electric and electric vehicle thermal management and control so various thermal circuits are there if battery is there heat is produced so how to manage the heat from the battery so battery management system will take care of it similarly there are another parts or circuits where heat will be produced just like the electric motor so how to produce the cooling system for it how to manage the heat so complete thermal management is one of the field in vehicle system vehicle control and power management is again important overall vehicle control the power is flowing from battery to the drive and other accessories so how to utilize this power at best possible level optimal level to get more utilization of the energy and get the maximum range from the vehicle this is the important function from this vehicle control and power management similarly lot of power electronics and electric machines power electronics work uh, design work operation and electrical machines it is included so in this the electrical machines and power electronics knowledge and design is required so this is the general requirement in the field of electric and hybrid electric vehicles if you see overall the electric vehicle concept the ev is a road vehicle based on the modern electric propulsion earlier it was ic engine based now it is the modern electric propulsion system mainly consisting electric motor power converter energy source and distinct its characteristics so now it is more focusing on these parameters if you see it is not just a car or it is not just a vehicle it is a new system of our society realizing clean and efficient road transportation so it is one of the clean source and efficient source in the transportation sector thus it is an intelligent system which can readily be integrated with modern transportation networks so intelligence is required there for various circuit to control the device to control the vehicle to manage the power to take the best decision uh, while controlling in hybrid mode so electric mode it may be transport to electrical mode it may be transport to ic engine mode it may work in the combination so all these decisions are intelligent decisions regenerative braking when to go for the regenerative braking how to achieve maximum regenerative braking at the given braking period so all these things are required for intelligent operation so 
the electric vehicle design involves the integration of art and engineering also so ev design is not only engineering but it is an art also to design the best vehicle and the best design ev operating conditions and duty cycle must be newly designed so ev operating conditions may be different conditions uh, how much to operate what should be the duty cycles so all these should be defined properly so this is the important ev concept engineering philosophy of electric vehicle if you see electric vehicle engineering is a multidisciplinary it involves electrical engineering electronics engineering mechanical engineering chemical engineering and automotive engineering so all this require the knowledge of electrical say for electric power train that is the electric motor it require electronic engineer to design the circuit power converters to design the controllers it requires the skills of mechanical engineers to design the body of the vehicle to design the complete a uh, vehicle dynamic vehicle body and also it require the chemical engineers mostly the battery design and efficient energy source design and overall the work is uh, to see the vehicle design by automotive engineers so the philosophy uh, whenever it is dealing with the engineering it is a multidisciplinary type of work if you see the integration is automotive mobile engineering and electrical engineering that is the first then it requires optimization the best optimization that is one of the important thing you have to check the ev performance or ev performance is the important parameter and over and above this the cost is one of the main parameter that is getting the affordable cost for the electric vehicle because we have seen in the earlier the electric vehicle was not so popular or it was out from the scene because of the heavy cost so now the cost is important we have to design the ev such that the cost is affordable now the consideration for ev design whenever we deal with the ev design it has to be identified the niche market and environment a suitable market for the ev and at what environment we are going to supply it and what environment the vehicle will work also it is required to determine the design philosophy what type of design will be there based on the requirement based on the demand of the customers another thing determine the technical specification including all driving cycles when we design the ev its specifications are very very important considering the road conditions considering the driving cycles whether it is in the in the it is for the city applications whether the vehicle is for the say highway applications it is it will be used in the highway it will be used in the hilly areas so this will decide the driving cycle of the electric vehicle next is to determine the infrastructure required including the recycling of the batteries so while considering this parameter we have to check what are the infrastructure required for the energy sources and how to recycle the energy sources for example the batteries next to determine the overall system configuration for this electrical vehicle hybrid electrical vehicle or fuel cell ev configurations if you see the typical considerations for electric vehicle design 
it is important to determine the chassis and body so it is important to decide or to check what type of chassis and body will be required or will be designed for the ev one has to decide the energy sources generation that is energy source and generation or storage what type of storage will be used that is what type of energy storage will be used whether it will be a single type whether it will be hybrid type just it can be as only a pure ev it can be hybrid then battery plus uh, ic engine plus battery or ic engine plus battery plus super capacitor or ic engine plus super capacitor plus flywheel so this combination has to be decided based on the requirement based on the conditions next is to check the propulsion system that is the drive system where it will include the motor the important parameter converter and transmission types which type of converters will be used for the conversion say ac to dc dc to ac or ac to ac so these conversions are required depending on the source and depending on the type of drive used it may be single or multiple motors many time a single motor can give propulsion to the vehicle it may require multiple motors also it may have two motors at two front wheels or it may be uh, rear driven so two rear wheels we can place two motors it may be gearless or gear also what type of mounting or where it will be mounted it may be mounted uh, that is centrally or it may be mounted in the wheel that is in wheel type of motor so all these are the aspect while we decide the propulsion system what type of ic engine system will be there in case of hybrid electric vehicle so this combinations has to be properly worked out whenever we are dealing with the ev design now to determine the specification for electric propulsion it is important to check the power torque and speed and also the energy source capacity voltage current according to various driving cycles so depending on the driving cycles we have to decide the ratings we have to decide the specification in terms of how much power is required how much torque is required depending on the road condition for this vehicle how much will be the speed speed lower and upper limits now energy source what kind of energy source and its rating capacity voltage current so this has to be decided considering the vehicle design to adopt an intelligent energy management system another thing is to adopt the intelligent energy management system so that the vehicle will work efficiently how the power will be distributed from battery to electric motor and various other auxiliary systems also in design analyze the interaction of ev subsystem by using the quality function matrix hence understanding the degree of interaction that affects the cost performance and safety so another an analysis is required based on this cost performance and safety next to optimize the efficiency of the motor drive according to the selected drive pattern and operating condition one is to optimize the motor drive based on the driving pattern so what type of driving pattern it will have a city driving maybe a highway driving depending on the operating condition and to optimize the overall system using computer simulation so it is very very important to simulate the system using the computer simulation